Hello there, um, it's a short video to show you how to set up a VPN using Mac OS X. Now this covers all versions of Mac OS X from 10.6 to El Capitan at 10.11. If you need to be setting up for Mac OS X Sierra, uh, please click on the link on the screen and that will take you to a Mac OS X Sierra video. Uh, when you're setting up in 10.6 uh, to El Capitan, you can use two options. You can use a PPTP option and you can also use a L2TP option. That's the main difference between 10.6 to 10.11 and the difference between Mac OS X Sierra. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to do an L2TP connection. If you require a PPTP connection, uh, click on the link on the screen now and that will take you to the correct video. Okay, it's very simple. Apple corner of the screen, open that up, system preferences. Okay, system preferences, it's a network change, and so our network's open, and it's the little plus here, because we're adding a connection. Okay, now the interface we're choosing is obviously a VPN, and the VPN type we're going to choose is L2TP, okay, and we're going to call this Lamnia test VPN. Okay, uh, you can actually put the service name anything that you decide to choose. Okay, we're actually using the Lamnia VPN system. Okay, uh, let's create that. Okay, we need a server address and we need an account name. Now, when you sign up to Lamnia VPN at uh, lamnia.co.uk, uh, you'll receive a welcome email and in the welcome email you will have a link to the server addresses now we're going to connect as if we're in the we want to appear to be in the UK so we'll choose UK to lamniavpn.co.uk if you want to have a trial with Lamnia they do offer a free trial just go to the website uh, lamnia.co.uk and they'll give you a free trial. Now, the account name again will appear and your welcome email. And this one we're testing with is such. Now, a couple of things to remember here. The server address uses the domain name Lamnia VPN and the account name uses the domain name Lamnia. Lamnia is the main website, but it, we use different domain names for security reasons. Also, the account name has an underscore. So after the numbers, before the VPN is an underscore. Don't forget that, it's very important. Okay, now we need to put your, user, uh, your username's password. And for this L2TP, uh, we also need to put the secret. Now, these will both be in your welcome email. Now once that's done, click OK. So we need the password from the welcome email and the shared secret from the welcome email. Okay. Now we're almost ready to connect, but don't connect just yet. If we click on the advanced tab, we need to make sure send all traffic over VPN is ticked. Okay. Once that's done, we click OK. Now we're going to apply that so everything's all saved. Now show a VPN status in menu bar okay now this is the icon up here top right hand middle obviously I've got quite a few icons here but it's this icon here once you if you click that then you can connect and disconnect your VPN really simply okay so now we will connect and you can see up in the corner of the screen it's connecting it also shows you that your VPN is connected and it's as simple as that. Uh, to disconnect, we can disconnect Lamnia Test VPN. And from the icon in the screen, we can connect Lamnia Test. Once the VPN is connected, you can access all UK websites, whether they're geographically blocked or not. Um, it also gives you the greater security. You should always be using your VPN when you're in hotspots, public Wi-Fi, hotels, bars, etc. Um, 
Any questions, visit the website www.lamnia.co.uk. More than happy to ask any questions, give you any sort of help you require. And obviously we offer a free trial for our service. Thank you very much.